everybody, welcome to the Watchpoint Podcast, episode 5. Uh, my name is Poison, and I'm joined by my co-host, Hotbar. Yo, what's up? I think this is the first time I've uh, had a podcast in two weeks, so a bit rusty, so yeah, let's get right into this. So, uh, we're going to be rolling on to the predictions for uh, Tier 2, Stage 2, Week 1. It just rolled right into stage two, and tier three is going into the playoffs, so we're going to be doing our predictions there. You may see some next week uh, for the next game, so you can judge us see if we're right or wrong. So we're going to be starting with tier two, tier two. Uh, the first uh, the first game is going to be WGA facing on Florida Failures. So who do you think is going to win that? Uh, well, I mean, recently from the games that I've seen and stuff, WGA are just looking like unparalleled at the moment. So I think that they're they're just going to win. They're going to beat Florida. Yeah. I'm going to say the exact same thing. I know OGC is probably going to DM me and be like, "No, we're going to win it," <laughs> but uh, I highly doubt that. So uh, I'm saying WGA is going to win it. I would say three to one. Uh, moving on, uh, I call this team SBS because I have no clue how to say their name. Uh, versus the new team, Insanity. So, who do you think is going to take that? Well, I mean, uh, no one's really seen Insanity play. So, I would, I, I have no clue what they're about. So, they could either be insane or they could be, like, not very good. So, it's difficult to be, mm-hmm. difficult to call. But as we've seen, like, MRH play before, I'd say that they'll win. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to say... Uh... I mean, we haven't, again, I agree completely with you. We have not seen anything from Insanity. So they could be the Fuego in Tier 3, or they could be uh, freaking Royalty. So uh, too early to call, but I have faith, and I'm going to say Insanity is going to win. Everybody's going to disagree with me there, but I don't care. All right, moving on to the next game, we have uh, Fuego versus uh, Gravity. So I feel Gravity take will take it pretty easily. Uh, we have seen uh, some some things from Fuego. We saw them went to game. They went to game five against uh, Team Boomer, but then got four would by Council. Yeah. So it's hard. It's hard to tell, but I feel like um, uh, Gravity is going to take that. All right, moving on to the fourth and final game of Stage Two, Week One. Uh, we have Team Boomer. Team Boomer versus the Council. Uh, I mean, both these teams are decent. Though I would say that Council have the slight edge. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna uh completely agree with you. Council looks like a better team. They have a better roster overall. So uh, I'm gonna say Council is gonna take that. Moving on to these uh, tier three uh finals, tier three playoffs. Um, we have uh the game game A, which all of these uh. Well, two of the four of these games are already set in stone. So we have game A, which is going to be Hourglass taking on Nostalgia, the newer team. But uh, Nostalgia already has a full roster. They're coming from a different server. And I'm getting hints that they are a 3K SR team Ooh. overall. So uh, how do you think Hourglass is going to prevail against them? Uh, I'm not too sure. Like, what we've seen, like, throughout the season, like, Hourglass have been doing really well. But... They have recently dropped, I think, Sar- Saranga, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Egghead on Discord, and they've uh, dropped Nugget. So those two were like pretty good for their starting roster. But I also have no clue like who Nostalgia are. I don't know if they're good, if they're bad. So I think I'll be uh, an entertaining game. Okay. Um, so I don't agree with the Egghead drop, but I... And I don't agree with the nugget drop, but um, when I was still captain of Hourglass, I'm not uh, currently, I uh, left. Um, when I was captain of uh, Hourglass, we had three fantastic DPS players. DPS was our department. We had Bronze, Nugget, and XD. So uh, with XD, um, like he's still in Hourglass, and he's been moved to the starting roster. And I don't think Nugget was happy with that because I think he got bumped off or he would get, he wasn't getting as much playing time. So he was like, okay, just drop me. But I don't know why Egghead was dropped because Egghead and Brandon were the uh, healer duo. They were fantastic on healers. So I don't 
I mean, completely... like the same thing yeah. happened for us because both of them used to play for Raiders, my team. And uh, mm-hmm. we dropped Nugget for reasons I'm not going to disclose. But then at, this, with, at the same time, we dropped Egghead as well. So I think, I think wherever one goes, the other follows. But I, I'm not sure. Mm. Okay, so um, with those two crucial drops and then uh, getting one threed by Fury, I don't think that they're going to prevail against uh, Nostalgia. I'm going to say they're going to... Damn. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say they're going to lose 3-1-4-0. Oof. We've got uh, Raiders versus Young Clan. Uh, Young Clan is one of the newer teams, so... Yeah. Gonna prevail. Oh, well, I mean... I play for Raiders, so I feel... I don't know if it's unfair me saying this, but I think Raiders will win. But not only that, we've played them in scrims before. And uh, it was it was a bit one-sided. But, I mean, they might they might give us a good game. But I do think Raiders will win. I feel like uh, Raiders are going to take it uh, in the end. I know me and Liam uh, did, I believe, two podcast episodes, and we were just freaking hating on each other uh, the entire time. We were just throwing shade at each other's teams. I can't really do that. I don't have a team. So, Raiders hit me up. I'm kidding. Um, but um, I feel like uh, Young Clan has been getting some pickups. Uh, and They do have a full roster, so they could go in without a forfeit. But um, I feel like uh, Young Clan won't uh, stay, won't be sturdy enough to face on against a well-rounded and a uh, really good chemistry having team i don't know what kind of language i'm saying uh such as raiders so i feel like uh raiders are gonna uh, get a 4-0 victory yeah yeah i agree with that moving on to one of the closer games that we that everybody was anticipating copyright taking on zone three yeah this this is this is gonna be a good game because i mean like uh hourglass is strongest copyright beat them in a, like a five match thriller, which was insane, but oh, zone yeah. zone three have just been looking like so consistent. So this is it's going to be really close to call. I think it's going to go down to the wire. It's like a map five type thing, mm-hmm. but I think zone three are going to take it. Mm-hmm. I feel like copyright having a lot of watch point OGs, uh, and them having a really good chemistry and having a really good ball player and a really good tour player. You won't hear me say a really good tour player a lot. I'm huh. putting that out there. Uh, but I feel like Copyright is a stronger team uh, overall and roster base. But it's gonna, it is going to be a close game. So I feel like it's going to go to a game five. But Copyright is going to take it. Uh, all right. We'll see. The last game of the uh, uh, freaking uh, uh, season one playoffs. I don't know what to call it. Uh, moving on to the last game of the uh semifinals no well finals Quarterf- yeah quarterfinals um fury taking on milwaukee now this is may this may be a closer game mm. uh over uh copyright zone 3 but it may be less close uh, you you don't know i don't even know what i'm saying but uh fury they have been a- around for almost the entirety of X League slash Watchpoint slash whatever it's going to be renamed. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Watchpoint may rename. So uh, it's going to be either because uh, Fury has not been a good team throughout its history on Watchpoint, and Milwaukee. It, I mean, yeah, you've been on Fury. I know you're going to backtrack that. And be like, well, but me, I don't know. I I've been on Fury. Yeah, I have my opinions. So I'd say that Fury is not that good of a team. They're getting Milwaukee, better. Milwaukee, they held on their head that they beat a, a weekend apocalypse in, I believe, stage two week. It was like very early in stage two that they were like, yeah, we beat apocalypse. But apocalypse was ran by Avalon. He's a really he's a really good um captain. Uh, he's on my he's on my tier four team. Back with tier four was a thing. Um, he was my co-captain. He was amazing. But Avalon just got on, didn't really know anything about the roster. Then OGC dipped and went up to Tier 2. Then they lost uh, either, pe- either people just leaving the server, going to a different team, wanting to be dropped, or just going up to Tier 2, or going down to Tier 4. So Apocalypse lost a lot of their roster and then had to pick, had to, uh, pick up a lot of new players, new faces, new talent that didn't have a lot of chemistry with a lot of other teams, so I feel like 
uh, I don't even know what random I'm going on. Uh, but I feel like uh, Fury is going to take this because they have a lot, a lot more chemistry. Oh yeah, Fury have been looking a lot better recently because they've mm-hmm. been they've been getting a bunch of pickups and like to say the least, their tank line is probably one of the strongest in the league at the moment. But um, yeah, I think they'll take it and move on. Yeah. So that's gonna be tier three. Now we are gonna be moving on to some question time we're gonna everybody loves question time we answer questions question that time. Everybody, glorious plate of uh watch point has sent in so we're gonna be starting off uh this uh was sent in yesterday by blue plan i'm skipping everything that was uh after pad that said <laughs> podcast yeah. because we do not have five hours of questions so uh uh Blue Plains since in how has COVID nineteen affected you? Literally not at all. I yeah, this, exactly. I, I, exact same thing that I'm doing. I'm doing now. Every single weekend, I would just stay in. I don't. This is my first time going outside, and I believe two days. Like, oh my, it's it's been bad. But I've been playing. It, it's it has actually got me more free time because I only have school three days this week. My uh, three days uh, in the entire week. And my school is about to end next week. I'm so happy. But uh, I feel like it's got it's giving me a bit more time. So uh, I've completed the GTA 5 uh, story mode. I've completed every single Call of Duty campaign that I own. Please help me. Okay. Moving on to... Oh, yeah. I, I haven't heard what you were going to say. Well, I mean, like, for me, it's it's been more of a blessing, actually, because just staying inside, not doing much, my forte... So I haven't like my school's been closed completely as opposed to only having it a few days a week. So I've just been sitting around no much to do. So I picked up a few hobbies. It's been pretty good. All right, now we have Tech Cheetah. Uh, how do you say that name? I no oh, whatever. Uh, what is your opinion on Overwatch Two? Is it something you're consider? If it's something you're considering buying, and why? Uh, yes, uh, I'm considering buying it. I'm considering actually pre-ordering it when it gets uh, available on pre-order. Because, it's like, yes, it's a new Overwatch game, but you get to keep your skins. And that's the seller for me. Like, story mode, I feel, if they only allow, like, the different power-up things that, like, you have for, like, your gun. I mean, like, for your abilities. Uh, like, in, if they keep that in the co-op and story mode, it's gonna be amazing. But if they bring that into the um, the multiplayer comp uh, quick play, oh, they're not going to. Uh, if they if they change their mind and do, I'm gonna probably just delete the game in the first two days oh, because no. that would make it so like OP, It'd just be awful. Mm-hmm. So I'm considering buying it. So what is your opinions on Overwatch Two? I I think it's gonna be great. Like I've seen the. Uh... The new game mode rush or what is it so the rush or push or something like that I it looks push. it looks great it's like another control esque type game mode where like both teams fight to win as opposed to one team attacks and the other defends i think that's great and like a great addition i love all the new art styles and i think it'll bring back a bunch of old players for overwatch making it like stringing it back into popularity i think that'd be great okay uh now on to the next question. I'm not even attempting to reading that name. So uh, this person says, "What do you think of the state of Overwatch, and uh, what is one change you would make?" Uh, my opinion of Overwatch, uh, um, it's good, but it could be better in the state that it's uh, add hero bands, please. If they add hero bands, oh, that'd be so much. That'd be so much fun. I mean, not like no, not hit the hero bands. Like here, like if you play Rainbow Six Siege, the hero bands in the state that you pick a hero to ban for for the opposite team in your team. That makes sense. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's been like something that people have wanted before the hero bands they implemented. The hero bands now, I mean, it makes sense why they brought them in, but I mean. It, they can be annoying at times when they ban like seven heroes at once, but I don't know. It, it's it's uh, it's Amanda Tomato. Yeah. So now, what do you think of Overwatch? And what what change will you make? Well, I mean, 
it is a good game. I love it. I've found like before I played it when it came out, then I had a bit of a break for it and I found like a newfound love for it. So I've, I'm, I'm playing it a bunch now. But yeah, there is some parts of it that just seem quite off putting. Just some of the comps that can be run, the hero bands. Like, I'm happy that hero bands have been removed because they're, it was kind of pointless having them in, in like gold, plat. And like silver bronze because nobody runs anything meta there. Mm-hmm. So I, I, just, I think that was a good thing, but I know this is kind of up in the air because mm-hmm. the, the devs are also they're working on it to try and uh, put out some new bug mm-hmm. fixes and new hero like adaptations and what whatnot. So yeah, I, the one thing I'd change, I'm not sure. Like, I'd have to think for a long while about it because at the moment it's good, but if I change one thing, it'd make another thing worse, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So I think they should just keep it as it is at the moment. Mm-hmm. I mean, and another kind of, like, thing, like, think of all these, like, really new, like, Call of Duty, the new, the newest Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I'm pouring more time into, which is surprising since I, I've been a Call of Duty fanboy for, like, my entire life, but, like, their newest game surpasses every single game. It's, call, the newest Call of Duty is their best Call of Duty to date, so with, add that, plus Fortnite, Apex, Season 5 is about to drop, uh, and Valorant is gonna be coming out. That's gonna put Overwatch, uh, like, Rainbow Six Siege is doing good. Like, that's gonna put there's all these big games like League of Legends, World of Warcraft. That all these big games are rivaling Overwatch, and Overwatch cannot put out enough content like that fast. If like you catch what I'm saying, yeah. So I feel like give it another two, three years, and if they don't release Overwatch two, because if, if they don't release Overwatch two by 2021, I'm just gonna cry. But oh, yeah, Overwatch will lose all its dignity. But yeah, that's the thing. It's just the countdown for Overwatch two to bring it to spring it back into like. Because if the Overwatch conversation. Drops, if Overwatch 2 drops and it's actually very good, then that's going to put Overwatch like at the top of the charts like for everything. Back to where it was. But I feel like they're going to drop Overwatch 2 after the next season of Overwatch. Like, uh, this season of Overwatch League is done. Because having that transition to Overwatch 2 and then everybody's going to have to learn, it's kind of weird. But Yeah, I agree. So now we have Aiden, the... Uh, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, Aiden, is saying, in your opinion, is Overwatch dying? Well, I mean, we uh, kind of no. just spoke about that. Well, yeah, but yes and no at the same time. Done. Okay, so we're going to be uh, we're gonna be doing another question time in a bit, so we're going to stop there, uh, and we'll be right back with uh, some more questions later on the podcast. So moving on to the next, we have some suggestions. So we just go, we just head on over to suggestions. So basically, we pick uh, like two or three or four suggestions that we think are interesting, and we just talk about them. So uh, we're going to be, uh, the one from actually you that I thought was very <laughs> interesting. Apparently, a lot of people think it's interesting because it now has 15 upvotes. So uh, Hot Bar su- suggests... We should do. A, we should have a Minecraft Hunger Games for people who have it. So a caster slash mod slash somebody who isn't playing but wants to take part should just make a world in creative mode, put a bunch of chests around it with loot in them, and saves it so the fighters can go into survival and fight. Now I agree with that completely. That's American and my language of saying completely. So sure. if they like, if like in the off season, like in tier three, if we have like a big Minecraft tournament, like Minecraft Hunger Games, maybe Minecraft Build Battle. Uh, maybe like Fortnite. I mean, Minecraft Monday, except Watchpoint. But uh, I feel like that would be interesting if, like, we if Pad just takes it into suggestion, that would be sick. Uh, yeah, okay. I just think it would be great. Just I don't mm-hmm. know, just take away from Overwatch a little bit, give people a break, and just set up some teams in Minecraft. I think it'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, now OGC uh says homework help channel. I mean, it could be good if it's not just people spamming. Yeah. If, if people are like, yeah, what's uh, X divided by Y 
to the fourth power, they'll be like, okay, uh, I can help you with that, and, like, do the calculations and stuff where all the nerds hang out. But, uh, in the wrong hands, it could be wrong, but if, uh, it could be, it could be good. Um, so what do you think about the Homer Cup channel? Uh, I mean, it would be alright. I mean, there's also, you know, the internet, but I guess talking to people that you, like, that you're around quite a bit of the time in the league, asking them to help you getting closer to people, I guess that would... That would be cool socially, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Um. So I'm gonna take Aiden to kind of modify it. Uh, he says the debate tra- uh, the debate should require a rule, uh, or eighteen plus because there could be very con- controversial stuff in it. Um, I feel like there could be like a politics channel. That you could be like, hey, warning, this is very political and very or offensive. So if you are, if you cannot take a joke or you don't know politics, don't click on this rule. So, yeah, uh, I feel like Pad won't do it because he's like, yeah, I'm staying away from politics, which is a good, good, good plan. Uh, freaking, I applaud Pad for that. But... Let's be more like Pad. Mm-hmm. Why can't we just have more of Pad? Pat is a good man. That sounds very wrong in so many different ways. Take that where you will. Um, but yeah, I feel like yeah, it could be there could be a debate role, but because it's very controversial. But he could have like controversial debate something. I don't know something along those lines. Right? Yeah, that's what I'd say actually. Like add a new channel. Like you've got debate, and then you've got like controversial debates. That 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 would be a good fix. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint was actually a good game. That's my controversial debate. Okay. Never played it. Uh, it's actually a decent game. It's got a good story. Uh, I recommend it. Okay, so we are done with suggestions because I don't want to get more where you cannot understand me. So we're going to be moving on to, after suggestions, we're going to be moving on to news. So I think everything in news is basically... Watchpoint is renaming to, I think, right now, it's mostly going to be... It's point Blank. Um, blank. I agree with that. That's actually a good name. Point Blank. Yeah, it's the best name out of the six. Um, the Wo- Watchpoint World Cup is about to happen in, like, a couple days. Uh, so a, part, a couple weeks, actually, like, two weeks. Um, shout out Team USA. I was on there, and then I left. Uh, because I wanted to spectate. Um, and Club probably, team nation, mix nations. I'm probably gonna ca- uh, cast it. Um. Uh, there's a over. Uh, there's a Watchpoint Fantasy League. Uh, I'm gonna read oh, the standings. Yeah. I'm gonna read you guys the standings because I don't care. So in first place we have the London Shitfire, uh, followed by the Gold Guns, followed by the Houston Platlaws. Uh, followed by Texas Teacups in fourth place, and then fifth place is Searching for the Juice. And you want to know what place I'm in? Fifteenth. Poison. You're fifteenth. Oh, uh, unlucky. I actually have a decent roster too. Clearly not. I mean, Runaway too. My team have been popping off. They were they were second, I'm, dropped I'm to tenth, and now my... back up to sixth. Like, hold on. Where is my DMs written? I put so my so my lineup is Mecco, Gamsu, Dante Haskell, Violet, Boombox. That is a fire lineup, dude. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's good. A go-to Diva player, Gamsu's a goaded Orissa player, Dante and Haskell are just the DPS duo. Violet's a goaded Moira player, and Boombox a god. Wait, did you say Haxel? Yeah, I said Haxel. Well, I mean, that's kind of a throw pick because Haxel isn't on a team at the moment. That's why he's not getting oh. any points. Oh, well, I'm putting in Doha. Yeah, Doha's a good pick, and also like Dante, I really, I wouldn't really put in because like he's a good player. Don't get me wrong, but the Cody outlaws aren't. Wing club left and right. Yeah, but the outlaws aren't really popping off that much. I mean, he carries the outlaws. Yeah, um, sometimes, yeah. but I did put Mo- I did put Muma on my team. He's decent. <laughs> yeah. he's a decent player. I couldn't we think could put of that in debates. I couldn't think of anything. Um, 
so uh so your team is doing pretty decent yeah my lineup give me a second uh my lineup right now is mono space glister rascal gangnam jin and alarm which i i feel is pretty good they they've popped off yeah like rascal the echo god <laughs> Can we get a rip in the chat for Corey? Rip for Corey, dude. He, he Big went sad. Up to, uh, Valorant, like every other Watch Pro. Yeah, every, they're dropping left and right. It just sucks a bit, man. Drops. And Corey drops. Stratus is gone. Stratus. Hip. Hip. Hip, yes. Like you know, Paris's flex support has just gone down from three people to one. It's quite funny. All right, so I'm gonna skip over six because I have because I yeah. Um, num- so number seven is uh Overwatch League. Um, I'm actually in a Overwatch League podcast. If you're listening to this on Spotify, uh, you can check over uh on um I just search up Poison's Update podcast. You will find it. And uh, I'm going to be releasing a uh, week 13 and 14 uh, episode because I forgot to do 13 because I'm an idiot. Uh, well, I'm going to be releasing that either tomorrow or the next day. So, yeah. Uh, I'm a Dallas Fuel fanboy. Uh, Liam, if you're watching this, Dallas is still good. Um, but I feel Yikes. like uh, there's two close games that I'm going to be most likely watching. Uh, San Francisco, Atlanta, and Dallas, Paris. So, Atlanta is a good team. San Francisco... They have a really good roster. I mean, post Sinatra, they're actually doing really good. Yeah. Because they have uh, Troy Hill Bin, Super, and a lot of other mofos that know how to play Overwatch. So, uh, I feel like that's going to be a good game. Atlanta, they do have a really good roster. Um, and they have been performing decently well in the past couple of days. So, I feel like they're going to be good. But... Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, Atlanta got reverse swept by the Valiant. Sure. Who, I mean, you could argue are getting much better as, like, the weeks go by. the roll of the dice for the Valiant. They did good for the first week and then just started tanking. Yeah. Like, the Valiant's roster has so much potential. KSP, Gig, McGreevy, Lastro, like, they're all great. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, moving on to my second game, it's going to be Dallas versus Paris. Yes, Dallas, Dallas just lost 1-3 to three to the Paris, uh, not the Paris Eternal, to the Philadelphia Fusion, which I'm still mad about, but it's whatever. Um, but Dallas uh, has, like, a goaded tank line, goaded DPS duo. Uh, Crimzo, his Moira plays could be better. Because if you watch action esports like I do, because I'm an Overwatch League nerd, uh, I really recommend action esports for anybody that's really big into Overwatch uh, League. They do the Overwatch highlights for the Overwatch League. Uh, but, yeah. um, like, they, they showed why Violet is such a good Moira and why Crimzo is a good Moira, but not as good as Violet. Because cause Violet gets his ults within, like, 30 to 40 seconds after before each team fight. It's insane. But if Crimzo just works on his Moira's alts, he works on his uh, Moira ball placements, he'll, he'll be really good. Um, and then uh, Paris, eh, I mean, they have been doing uh, really good in the past. And they just picked up, uh, no, they just lost somebody, I believe. They just, yeah, they just lost somebody to the Defiant, I believe. Um, so Cruz, I believe. Yeah, was, I'm not sure. I think it was Cruz. Yeah, I believe. Um. That name no, it does sound familiar. So, um, I feel like it's going to be a close game, but we saw Dallas 3 0 the Justice back to back. So, I don't know. I, I mean, it's the Justice. They haven't been looking at their strongest at the moment. Mm-hmm. I'd put, put them on par with Boston, but, mm-hmm. like, for me, uh, the same way you're a Dallas fanboy, uh, London is just, I feel, one of the best teams at the moment. Okay, no, no, no. London is getting <sighs> carried by Shanghai. Don't at me. Yeah, 
No, I, I think Lundstrom put up a good fight. If if they're in the right frame of mind, they can they can go like I Shanghai. Guess- Dragons, no, yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, I think I think there's a fight there, they're... but no, I'm I'm getting Shanghai gonna demolish London, and uh, it's it's not gonna be cute, but the uh, London Hangzhou game that's gonna be either like I think that's gonna be a good game, oh, like yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to watch that one. I'm um, yeah, so I think that's gonna be fun, and I also think Vancouver versus Houston will be a great game because Vancouver's completely new roster. Yeah, I don't say. They've only been going against like decent teams. I mean, they've gone. They went lost against Washington uh, last week, but uh, I feel Houston will give them a run for their money. It'll be a good. It'll be a good game, I think. It was very close. Uh, that uh, 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 freaking Vancouver saw that uh, Valiant started doing good with an entire contender roster. So they're like, wait, let me try that. And that's what happened. Yeah, the rest but, is history. So, but thank you for watching. We're sorry we could not give you a uh, podcast last week, but uh, the schedules were not computing. And I can't even say anything about schedules because I about missed this. It's a long story. But thank you, everybody, for watching. If you want to improve your gaming efforts and you want to help everybody here at Watchpoint out, then uh, make sure you go to fatalgrips.com and then use code Watchpoint for 10% off. It's amazing. It's free money and it helps. We will see you all. See you.